In tonight's Tech Minute, because of the pandemic, millions of people have spent the past year working at home and face-to-face -face meetings are now done virtually. But new technology is changing how we interact online. CBS 4's Michael George explains. And I can reach out and grab it too? Exactly, here, I'll, I'll hand it to you a little closer. Virtual meetings can now look a whole lot different thanks to these, the Microsoft HoloLens 2. So you pinch your fingers to draw. I'm wearing a pair in New York and can talk to Microsoft's Greg Sullivan in the Seattle area. Through the lens, I see his avatar in my apartment and he can see mine. The company calls it Microsoft Mesh. You can imagine we're brainstorming on a, on a new movie, you know, Attack of the Hermit Crabs. And there's, oh, look, there's the hermit crab from <laughs> space. And we could storyboard out this yeah. whole thing and collaborate in three dimensions. Now, if you want to buy one of these devices, you can't yet. Right now, they're being sold to developers who are experimenting with how mixed reality can be used at home, at work, or in the classroom. Other companies offer similar technology. Glass is a hands-free device for smarter and faster hands-on work. Google currently sells the Glass Enterprise 2, allowing a mechanic to see instructions for a repair, or helping doctors view patient records in real time. You can look from the top, the side, the bottom. Last year, surgeons at the UC Davis Health Children's Hospital used headsets from Magic Leap to prepare for an operation to separate conjoined twins. The doctors needed to figure out how to detangle shared blood vessels. Two clips here eventually is a plan? I think that's what I would do. Eventually, Microsoft wants to upgrade from avatars over here. to holoportation, projecting a lifelike image in a mesh meeting. There it is. I, it's, it's like I'm holding it in my hand. It's technology that turns the virtual world into a hands-on experience. Michael George, CBS News, New York.